He was a father, a son, a brother, and to many who have enjoyed his music over the last 15 years, a living legend. He was also the love of Lauren London's life. Nipsey Hussle was unfortunately gunned down on March 31st, 2019, in a place also sacred to him. It's safe to say it was the center of his world. Take a look. It's just the parking lot. This is where we first popped my trunk and was promoting my music as a, as a rap artist. So this corner What's up, Brody? was just where I became known. Police had arrested us, took all our stuff. Before the police left, they basically told us, I'm like, man, what's up, man? You know, we black, we trying to get it. We selling t-shirts. He's like, look, man. Yeah, you know, he like, he's like, man, shut the fuck up. If y'all want to do something, do like the rest of the people and um, lease a building, open up a business. Other than that, we taking y'all shit. The next time, we're going to take you to jail. I look up, and across the street, right where we're at right now, was a sign that said, for a lease. Mm -hmm. So um, I called, we called Nip, and uh, we put a plan together, and we got the shop. He was an inspiration to many in his community. Media sources bringing up gang and he's gang. No, what he was was the opposite. He turned it around. We come from a, a poverty area where this is what was given to us. Nipsey took what was given to us at liquor stores and drugs and, and the things that we have in our community that our community zoned for and he changed it around. And he did that through bringing employment. He brought that through buying businesses and expanding to become entrepreneurship. We, we love Nipsey, the community loves Nipsey. We're asking once again for all interventionists. This is going to be a very bad situation in South LA and whatever comes out to find out whoever was involved in it. So we don't want other parents to lose their children. He turned the spot where people in the neighborhood used to hustle into a spot where people could make an honest living. He gave jobs to people with felonies and criminal backgrounds. Clean windows, dump the trash. 13 long years in the neighborhood. Nip gave me the job, man, 13 years. And I'm, he, he got me going. It's also where he met Lauren. Take a look. Where do we first meet, and what did I think of you the first time we met? She was head over heels sprung from day one. And, and he we got met. this wrong. We met, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For the first time in person on Crenshaw and Slauson in my store. Yes, but what did I think? What did you say you thought? Or what did no, I think you thought? No, what do you think I think? I thought. thought she was head over heels, committed and ready to roll. You know what I'm saying? Right, so you got half of that yeah. right. Yeah, uh, it man. was on Crenshaw and yeah, Slauson, and I thought he was very tall. Oh. <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah, you yeah, thought he was tall. Yeah, like, he's tall. And as you could see, all things led back to Crenshaw when it came to Nipsey. He wore his hood on his sleeve proudly. He inspired so many young people to aim to make more out of their lives. He embraced gang culture while trying to change the stigma of what it meant to be in a gang. So I'm not necessarily perpetuating this shit. I'm more or less just giving niggas the game. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to convert nobody. That's right. what you're going to ask All right. me. Yeah, are you trying to bring them in or are you trying nah, to let them know I'm if they do come out, in? man. You feel me? More than anything, I'm trying to really, you could say my, 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 my whole objective is to just redirect the mentality. I, I know a lot of niggas got the wrong idea of this shit, you feel me? He used this platform to change his neighborhood, buying one building at a time, teaching young folks the value and the importance of ownership. Being shot at by the police in that parking lot, getting taken to jail, getting raided in that parking lot, to actually owning that building. I remember the, the, the owner of the Master Burger used to tell us he basically wouldn't allow the members of the community to hang out at all. He even removed the seats so people had to order they shouldn't go. I remember that being young, like, feeling like, how dare you? And now he's our tenant. He pay us rent every month. It's sad to say that this man died before everything that he worked so hard for, leaving behind his two children, the youngest being only two and a half years old, without a father. Lauren was the love of Nipsey's life. We saw her heart get broken by rapper Lil Wayne, and in a special way, Nipsey just put it back together. Take a look. Take cheese. It's a video, motherfucker. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lauren. Oh, thank you. To this, to this boss, phenomenal woman right here. So to your what? To my wife, to my girl. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Nipsey never shied away from showing his love and affection for his girl with messages like this. At I am Lauren London. Words gonna fail me, but actions speak volumes. My job was to make you comfortable enough to be yourself with me. Mission accomplished. I love who you are and respect how you hold this down. Thanks for giving me the confidence to love you unconditionally. You know, I was raised to be real skeptical, LOL. We just getting started though. He was mad protective over Lauren. Take a look. 
Who is my celebrity crush? <laughs> you don't tell me no stuff like that. I ain't the type of boyfriend that his girl be like, this is my celebrity crush. So she's probably, that's some shit you know, and I don't know. You. That's I don't have a celebrity crush. I'm with my celebrity crush. Right, there you go. Who's your celebrity crush? I ain't got no celebrity crush. <laughs> me. Nice question, can I come on? Now fast forward to current day. Nipsey was literally killed in front of all that he worked so hard for. Many people are convinced that the reason why Nipsey was killed was because of a documentary that he was working on, which featured the workings of holistic doctor, Dr. Sabi. Take a look at Nipsey's idea. You know, and what's crazy, I'm, I'm working on doing a documentary on the trial of, in 1985, when Dr. Sebi went to trial against New York. Right. Because he, he put a newspaper, he cured AIDS. Yeah. Did, he, did, he, did he, he beat, beat the case? case. Yeah. And he went to federal court the next day and beat that case yeah. on record. Yep. And nobody talk about it. Sebi going to court and, and proving that he cured AIDS? Absolutely. Come on, why? Yeah. We don't know about that. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know. And then and he just died mysteriously down right. there. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so you know how they play. Oh, yeah. You know, niggas just tweet me, hustle, be careful, man. Your plane yeah. gonna go down. <laughs> I say, you better ride for me. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's what me. I'm saying. Don't, don't pray, ride for a nigga. Yeah, I that's tell it. Yeah. Dr. Savi allegedly cured many of these incurable diseases such as HIV, herpes, diabetes, and sickle cell. Take a look at some words from Dr. Savi. When I had cured these people of sickle cell and lupus and herpes and blindness, I was happy. I said, now <coughs> I, I could go to all the leaders. I could go to Minister Fayakon. I could go to Jesse Jackson. I could go to Art Sharpton. I could go to Oprah Winfrey, but what I found out, I was mistaken. I was wrong. They are not interested in the healing of any black people. That's an explosive claim. That is not an explosive statement. That is a reality. There isn't a black leader in America that is interested in the health of the black race. Do you say that because they refuse to interact with you? They are not in the position to respond. If they were, my first case of AIDS was cured in 1984. Now this picture right here is the last known picture of Nipsey Hussle, right in front of his store before he was killed. So here's what we know about Nipsey's death. On Sunday at about 3.20 in the afternoon, uh, Nipsey with two other males were standing in front of his store, as has been reported, that Mr. Holder, walked up on more on multiple occasions and engaged in a conversation with Nipsey and the others that were there. He left and then came back and subsequently came back armed with a handgun and purposely and repeatedly fired, striking and killing Nipsey Hussle, as well as striking and injuring the, the other two, one requiring uh, them to be hospitalized or transported to a nearby hospital, the other uh, suffering a wound, but was treated at scene. Mr. Holder, we have identified him through, at this point, the vid available video evidence, uh, statements. Boosie had an interesting perspective on situations like these. Take a look. You know, most rappers die in their own city. Man. It's a fact. And, uh, you know, you have haters who who was in school with you and, and they mad because they was, on, they was in, that, in that third grade class with you. But they don't have the same hustle as you. You know, they hate you for no reason. They hate you for they hate you for your success. Places where he used to go now honoring him in death. People who he used to know now scarred for life. That is opportunity. Yeah. Nip chilling in his own parking lot, he own that shit. Yeah. He ain't thinking he relax. See, I'm saying everybody like why ain't has security? That's his shit. Right. Nobody move nigga gonna pull up comfortable. A sucker took out a fucking king, my nigga. That, fuck king, that, 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 a real man. king to this ever. I was a kid when Big and Pop died, so I couldn't feel that. I feel this shit. We wanted to let y'all know that one of our brave soldiers has just been right down in Los Angeles, his home, by the name of Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace, Nipsey. I love you, Nipsey, my nigga. And people all over the internet, celebrities like Drake, LeBron James, Pharrell, Rihanna, Beyonce, 
and so many more, spreading their concern for his family and giving their condolences. So let's keep streaming Nipsey's music. If anything, we know that that's where his heart was. He loved his music. He used his music as means of inspiration. And for what we know, he even had a new album coming out with Meek Mill. What's up with this Meek Mill Nipsey project that I've heard that there's some rumblings about? <laughs> yeah, y'all talking about doing a project together? Yeah, we we've been we've been cutting ideas and just um getting in. You know what I mean? We got a, we got a couple records that's gonna go off for the summer. So after a reign of many mixtapes, he released his first album on my birthday, February sixteenth, two thousand and eighteen. And it was Grammy nominated. How did you feel when you got the call that this body of work, because you put a lot into it, it received a lot of great buzz, a lot of great feedback, but it was also being recognized by the Academy. Right. Um, it's my debut album, you know, so for my first one out the gate, it's like, you know, it was overwhelming a little bit. You know, it was, um, like I said, inspiring, you know, humbling, you know, a uh, um, combination of feelings. Do you yeah. feel any of that sophomore album pressure now? You know what? I don't. I feel like, you know, you get one chance to make a first impression. You know what I mean? And from there, it's about consistency. So I feel like we did it. We put a, a great foot forward on the first one. We're going to go back in strong. I love that. Yeah. Nipsey was a smart man. His last tweet, just minutes before he died, reading, having strong enemies is a blessing. He lived a great life and made a huge impact. And although he was taken away from us way too soon, job well done, Nipsey. You inspired, you built, you innovated, and you made a change. Rest in power, Nipsey Hussle. Let's keep his family in our prayers in the meantime. Follow my Instagram page at Forever Saren to stay updated with this story and to hear some of my favorite Nipsey lyrics since I can't legally post them on YouTube. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more stories.